have, uh, what you call, a blood nose, my sinuses hurt, <laughs> my back hurts, my throat hurts. This is gonna be a long ass video, and I just wanted to preface that I'm ill, but you know, I'm still going. I, I've been trying to, I mean, this has vitamin C in it, it's unhealthy, but it's got, I've drank. I've drank probably half a gallon of orange juice. I've had some like nasal spray. I've had, well, I was thinking about eating one of these. <laughs> Look so fucking green lentil and tomato soup. Three of your five a day is gluten free for anyone out there. Shout out to Baxter's. They literally have been making me survive because my mum's got Hello Fresh at the moment. And I've, that's not a sponsor or anything. But it's essentially that my mum doesn't, I don't know what it is. I can't eat like big meals at the moment. So I've just been eating canned foods. I don't know. It's like, it's like a little quirk on my am so weird anyway anyway apart from the whole me story me 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 it's, it's all you play here on this channel i'm your boyfriend the sexic and today we are reacting to a detailed and helpful guide to strike 2021 edition this has to be probably my fifth guide or something fourth guide because if you're not aware and you're you know you're brand new to this channel i am going through a whole journey where essentially i'm starting off at scratch starting off scratch and just trying to quick up a good make a good batch i sorry um the energy where where the hell is, it's gone yeah. jesus christ so that's that's i'm on a journey all right there you go you don't need to know anymore <laughs> Holy fuck. i'm good i'm good i swear anyway <laughs> Look at them lot. They're like, you know, just a bunch of lads. Good lads, good lads. Anyway, before we begin... Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. This came out 12th of March, 2021. So far, it's 28k views. Let's get it up. I'll put the link in down below and give it a like. And subs subscribe to Tino Sugar Reacts. So, they've put at the beginning... There's quite a lot of combined writing slash video sections throughout this guide. So, I would highly recommend pausing on each bit to ensure you don't miss important info. That's what we do around here. Because one of the sexic and two... The sex, I don't know. It, all right, anyway, let's go. Thank you so much for checking out my guide. I really hope you. I, I most likely will. I don't step know. Out, step 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 out. Oh, step I out. I thought it was saying stare out. I was like, who am I staring at? Stray Kids are an eight member, formerly nine, self producing, self forming fourth gen K pop idol boy group under the label JYP Entertainment. They were formed as a part of survival based reality show back in 2017, where each member faced the possibility of elimination. I would highly recommend any new fans to watch the show as to gain a better understanding of the tough beginning. As far as I know, okay, and my brain isn't exactly like sponge, but we're getting there. I learnt that, is it, was it? Lino, it was either Ian or Lino and Felix. They they got like a little like gacha moment, and we learned that in the last video. It was from today's Nathan. See, I'm even remembering the channel, so take notes, everyone. Also, I'm gonna try and uh, obviously I'm gonna edit all the music, but also um. I'm gonna make it as cohesive as possible. Like I'm not gonna do major edits because I realize the more I do edits, the less I get retention on my things, and it and it just means I don't have to. You know, it just it just keeps it more natural, and I think you can agree. The members who participated in the reality show were all personally handpicked by Bang Chan, now the leader of Stray Kids, which is pretty uncommon method within the K-pop industry. Hence, further demonstrating just how much their bond, relationship, and teamwork mattered from the very beginning. He based his decision on their personalities, drive, and determination plus ultimately the potential they can provide the team and, and with that being said you can literally see it's a pretty uncommon method hey sacrifices are there some people don't become successful is because they don't take sacrifices within such a, a bold industry that they're in everything is looked down on until it's proven that it can get the numbers i suppose and that's that's always a something you know that they're always looking for to always like yeah so they're always looking for characters they're not looking for people, they're looking for characters. I like to say. Or I like to think anyway. Alright, I've read it. This ain't a bloody library. God damn it. <laughs> I hate libraries. They're like my worst nightmare. Oh shit. Oh sorry, James. Stray Kids officially debuted back in March 2018 after already releasing one pre-debut album titled Mixtape. Plus an a music video for the track Elevator. Their debut title track is District 9 and really showcased them as a strong, unique and multi-talented group despite being young rookies. This track was part of their first debut mini album I Am Not. 
of course it's it's well awkward it's a bit like when i do tiktok videos you just can't hear a goddamn thing like right now i can listen to some craig david some justin bieber some, some one direction but of course assuming you're all strikers fans you know what they sound like me 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 that's district nine i just summed up the melody for you very edm Stray Kids are one of the most versatile, multi-talented and excited groups out there. I'm not trying to be a dickhead or anything, but I mean, they say that about BTS. They say that about NCT. All right, I'm not trying to be a dickhead. It's just what they all say. But yeah, I mean, to be versatile, you have to stand out. And they definitely stand out the most for me. That's why I'm reacting to them. That's why. There's no there's no alpha, omega boy group out there. And that's not the reason why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I, I simply enjoy this boy band in a lot of ways. Anyway, their discography is packed full of such variations of style they are also different yet also still true to their own unique skz sound that it can be appealed to everyone very taste and music preference i agree i really do and that's the that's the benefit of having a verse the versatility that they have it's a good marketing it's good for the the ether of music industry yeah there's so many so many pros you know and so little con i mean the the cons that i can only think of is that say if they held that whole album it's just patience if someone has the patience to go through the whole album to finally pick that that's that's the only like con i can think of and when a generation like ours you know patience isn't on our side here is a small example of some of their varied releases ranging from powerful bass heavy rap anthems to sickly cute fun beats all right then all the way to soft love filled ballads which one was it it was surfing that's what i really liked and it really reminded me of another song called vibranium vibranium i can't fucking sing very caribbean like type music please enjoy i freaking will yeah yeah, I, I best be it. I best will. Huh? Yeah. All <laughs> right then. I am so sorry, Tino Sugar. There, there is no music, but hey. Tortoise and the hare. <gasps> I know you couldn't hear that, but Hyunjin just went absolutely up. Oh, we're checking out that. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay, that must have been the machine gun flow. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. I'm not a big fan of this. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Sounds very like Jacob Sartorius. <laughs> There is very much a three ratchet that I, I enjoyed just all of their songs, I'll be honest. It, like, I will react to, like, most of them at a later date. Not right now, because I'm hanging off of Empire State Building. I'm not even putting it on. I never get ill. I don't even know. I must have just caught it in, in the wind or something. Oh. oh, Egyptian. Or, like, Middle Eastern. But um, but um, but um. Well, so it just sounds like very Diplo. But... Yeah, we've we seen Universe, yeah. Although I don't remember this part. No, no, maybe I didn't. So far, Stray Kids have released eight mini albums, two compilation albums, one full length album, one repackage album. What the hell's a repackage? Is that where like Amazon FDA are just like, ah, oh, fuck it, we can't sell the product, so we'll just give them a refund. Is it that? <laughs> Is it that? Oh my God. Yo, whoever's creating the art must be minted because they're like, they always keep coming back. Not to mention their full Japanese and English releases, plus several solo records releases on their YouTube channel. Go check them out. Oh, for Shawzies. Also, one thing, it's just the work ethic. It's just, it's blinding. They've got a team behind them. And I don't think it, if it wasn't for, for the team, I don't think they would stay fit, healthy, mentally sane. Because there are so many things that come into this. And when you're like a solo artist, I don't know, say, for example, Adele, I keep always coming back to Adele I don't know why just don't ask me as if you're gonna like be like Fred what you keep talking about Adele god damn it no <laughs> he no, she sorry you know would do an album just like f off for about two years and then come back because I think that's the healthiest thing for a solo artist but when you have a band like this they're always bringing each other up and it's good people are social creatures so that's good it's lovely I just realized we're 13 minutes in 
SKZ really boomed in popularity during 2020. This is mainly due to their latest God Menu and Backdoor, which brought in a ton of new fans, which helped achieve huge milestones with it within their career. And let's not mention, we know what happened during 2020. Everyone was indoors, and of course, that probably helped them as well. You know, it helped a lot of YouTubers, it helped a lot of it helped the music industry, probably. Of that's of course, I know. Rest in peace to everyone who has passed away from COVID. There's a lot more, I guess things to mention because you know it's, as well as you know cause menu and back door coming out it's like oh great more more audience and everything but hey uh, it was probably the perfect time no that's what i meant to say it was probably the perfect time to release anything i'll be honest if you were to make the best bit of your work that you've ever created that's not to say this is the best album, album they've ever made but the most recent and up-to-date bit of work that they're most satisfied with you know there was no better time than to release it back in 2020 and that's crazy it's been two years already that, that's my that's that's mad to me. Yeah, so there we go. That's, that's my thoughts. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. God's Menu also recently hit 200 million views on YouTube, making them the only boy group alongside BTS, aka the biggest group in the world, to have a music released in 2020 hit the huge milestone. That's one thing. I know, like, everyone's got their own taste and everything, but with just K-pop, they're coming out with the same genre of music as BTS. But why are BTS so big? That's what I don't understand. That's that's what I've never understood, and I think that's just everyone who's not a BTS stan probably thinks also. I'm probably blind to that, but ignorance is bliss. All right, I'm gonna be devil's advocate, aka my own opinion at this point, and say the BTS are, I don't know, I think they've hacked some sort of psychology. They've just, they just understand the human brain, I think. And they've, they genuinely were like, there was probably a bidding war between uh, the producers and like the second, <laughs> I just coughed and laughed as they've done. I literally mean no malicious intent by this, but it's literally just like, how would BTS boom so, so much quicker than any other K pop? group and of course let me know guys in the comments down below who was first was it stray kids or bts uh, with that being said why do you think like i, I want you guys to tell me because obviously i'm new to this and i want your guys' thoughts and opinions about this it's why bts are so big and all the rest are like slowly trailing up if you know what i mean like for example bts being the biggest boy boy group ever basically well in the world you know they, it would take them about a week or three days i don't know i don't know the metrics on youtube videos but how long it would take them to get a billion views on a music video there's something there's something happening that no that they're not explaining i, I mean yeah it's great to say that they're, that they're just talented they're just sick but these lot are talented these lot are sick like what why why are they so different i i don't know and i, I you know i'm not saying that all oh, k-pop sounds the same it's if they're coming out with the same i don't know how to explain it i really don't but i may know malicious intent by that but just let me know what you guys think do, 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 do. <laughs> the bad door man that's side effect breezy bad door was ranked number eight on times magazine 10 best songs of 2020 list which was a huge achievement for the boys considering they were the only k-pop group to be featured well there we go bts are finally in something <laughs> oh yeah oh my god it's fucking wikipedia 2021 finally blessed them with their first ever bon sang a main award given at the soul music awards sma for excellence in music which is calculated by the album slash digital sales of the year plus a final score based on the ceremony judges which is a huge achievement for them and for us stays as it means they are finally growing in popularity within korea something they have been deserving of for years and that's another thing like why aren't they big in Korea, I don't know. What the hell? Maybe it's a nationality thing. Maybe it's a. Maybe it's a formation of the songs. Our fandom name is Stay. Why? Because Stay and Stray. Oh, because Stay is Stray without. Yeah. I, I mean, I get that. Is it really that though? Meaning, we the fans are the reason they exist and they can stay. Really? Is it? Is that? Oh, I'm not trying to be an arsehole or anything, but surely there must be a better explanation of it, right? Oh, because you make us stay. That's what they put at the end of the music videos. Because Stray Kid, no, you guys make us stay. I don't know. Something along the... I mean, I get why it is, but I thought I thought there was like this, I don't know, biblical sense of the word. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, oh, I thought it was something else, I'll be honest. 
The tagline strikers everywhere around the world. You make strikers stay. That's it, sorry. It's shown at the end of pretty much anything SKZ releases, which is a nice reminder of how much we mean to them no matter where we are. Stray kids everywhere. Or, or it's just a slogan at that point. I'm sorry, but it's the, it could be just the business model. It, it may be as something as wholesome as that, but it's a business model, I think. Uh, maybe it's just a model. I'm just an arsehole, aren't I? I really am. I, like, I'm such a dick. <laughs> I feel so bad. And now you've learned the basics about Strikers, let's move on to finding out all the amazing eight humans who wake up team. Who wake up? Oh, who makes? <laughs> I genuinely can't read. Who make up the team? Here's Bang Chattery. Let's go. Stage name Bang Chan, blah, blah, blah. Also known as Chan Christopher, 1997, South Korea. Moved to Sydney, Australia when he was a baby. Ah, oh, okay. You're clearing it up for me. But moved to Sydney, Australia when he was a baby. But born in S A K as South Korea. Let's go. Group roles. Leader, producer, rapper, vocalist, dancer, songwriter. Beautiful. Chan is the leader of Stray Kids who personally handpicked each of the members to join the team. Chan is known for being a rapper among the group. However, he is also a beautifully skilled vocalist as well. Here are some of my personal favorite examples of both his rap and vocal skills. I'll put in what I can. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Until they do a song with like Kid Leroy or something. I don't know why I said that. Just I'm just waiting for it. Wait, okay, I'm I'm actually wondering if they've actually done a song with like Kid Leroy now. Because at the moment I've been going on on YouTube. Just well, it was recently recommended to me. Like you know how like you can get an acapella and if it's got the same BPM and similar sort of key, if it just sounds right, it sounds right. You put it with like another artist. I wonder. Ah, that sucks. But it's songs like this where I no, I know I know it's like an unreleased song, but you know what I mean. That's well annoying. I really want someone to do that. Because it is simple. Like, well, well, okay, it makes it sound like I could do it. I could do it, but I don't want to. Someone else do it. Someone better than me. You basically just get the acapella from like a song. If you can it's just accessibility. Whoever's got the acapella can do it. Put it with the same BPM as a song. Bada bim, bada boom. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it for a video. If you guys want to see that, I'll I'll try my best and I'll I'll see what I can do. To, um because I can do it. I've got FL Studio. I have all the means to do it. I just I just want to know if you guys want me to do it. That'd be sick. <laughs> Yeah, I need to check out more of like the, the single kids. This is Chan's solo record that he released on their official YouTube channel in May 2020. It's truly a stunningly beautiful song with sad, relatable and emotional lyrics. His voice is so raw and packed with emotion that despite there being no video or lyrics right away, you can feel anything he's singing about. Okay, nice. <laughs> What does he sound like? John Newman? It's like, with me, I don't know if I'm just being an arsehole again, but is it, I feel like some female artists sound the same, but then like obviously some male, what's not female, male, and some of them just basically sound the same. I'm so sorry if there's any boogers. Boogity oogity oog. I don't even know how to spell it. Actually, yeah, no, this guy has like a deeper voice, I think. Although I haven't heard this song since I was like, I used to play FIFA. I don't know why I did. I got bored of it so quickly, but when I, when I did play it, it's like FIFA 14 or something. No, I, I don't know what the hell happened to Newman? Whatever happened to him? Come on, man. Come back. <laughs> or maybe it's just the 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 it's it, maybe it's just the BPM. Some songs sound the same because of the BPM, in my opinion. Uh yeah. <laughs> he does sound like someone it's really annoying me because I know he sounds like someone. Fuck. 
Ang Chan trained for a whopping total of seven years before officially debuting. I learned now already. I know that type of shit. Shakers <laughs> during his time as a trainee, he saw many of his friends try and fail at becoming an idol. However, he never gave up, and once they began the survival program, he continued to work even harder to better himself and his chosen team, ready to prove to JYP that they were all ready to debut. Oh my god, I thought I was about to pass out. Well. You guys always tell me to watch like the survival things, but is it are they on YouTube or are they on like some other platform? Because I've got to watch them because there's obviously I've only seen the like the, I guess the silly side of them, the, the in front of a camera person version of them. I, I know it's not a facade or a character or anything, but it's like obviously when you're in a real setting, your face changes. It's like a different version of yourself. <laughs> That's, I think that's what's really special with accents. Language in itself um, just makes you feel like you're in a certain place. So you got to turn back, I'm gonna turn back, to listen to the kind of feeling you're feeling. I don't. I don't. Alright, anyway. Due to him spending the majority of his life in Australia, Chan is 100% completely fluent in English, as well as being equally as fluent in Korean. That's intelligence, my boy. This means he can interact perfectly with both Korean and international stay, creating a really personal and friendly relationship with fans all around the world. I've got to restart the recording. <laughs> Sheesh! There he is. Oh, what a cutie. You can hear the accent, and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't, I haven't heard this in ages. I want everyone to be healthy. I don't. What? Huh? Oh, sorry. Thanks to the wonderful relationship he has with fans, Chan goes live every single Sunday to chat to us about anything and everything, as well as giving us genuine, honest advice, recommending his favorite songs, and also listening to our stupidly embarrassing chat up lines. So far, Chan has done 93 episodes of Chan's Room since the start of 2019. And I like how it's just like this established thing where you guys even say episodes, not parts, or, or live streams that like you, you categorize a live stream as an episode as if like it's you know like a seasonal thing that i don't see that normally happening i'll be honest it's strange and happy doesn't matter where you're from doesn't matter what country you're in you deserve love doesn't matter what you are what you choose to be you deserve love and for christmas i hope that you can be the happiest little human being in the world and is it bad that sometimes i just want to yeah, what, whatever Chris said. Good on him. Uh, I'm so glad uh, he's him and not me. I'll be honest. I'm such like a, I'm such a cynical bastard. I couldn't do that. I'm like, yeah, guys, achieve your dreams. Just have a good day. I, I'm not very good at what I do. Despite his ridiculously busy schedule, Chan hardly ever misses a Sunday live stream. Thanks to his honest and open chats with us, he has become a figure of hope and acceptance, making millions, yes, millions of people around the world feel safe, secure, and above all love. Even for just an hour a weekend, Chan will speak in both Korean and English, answering questions and giving his raw and filtered opinion and advice to stay and how wary, how Every gas. I need to blow my freaking nose. Freaking annoy me for frick frick. Ah! I hate being ill. It fucking sucks. I literally haven't been anywhere. I've been in this goddamn grotto for, the, for like 10 years. I've been blowing my nose like a trumpet. That was my mother. Anyway. Cry all day. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Having a day just full of crying, just, just a day of, you know, just letting everything go is something that I recommend. I think I think everyone needs a certain day like that, so there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. All good, all good. I completely understand. It's all good. Sundays are my cry days. No, they're not. I don't cry. No, no, I, I like to, what do I like? I don't, I don't cry. I, I don't know what it is wrong. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, no, actually I have cried. All right, there, there have been a few times where I've just, you know, you're scrolling on TikTok and you hear like a really sad, 
sounds so fucking wrong. What is wrong with me? I I cry. I do cry to some. Oh my! I can't. <laughs> do you know what? You deserve to hear it. If you've watched this much of me, you deserve to know something about me. Yeah, I I get I get quite emotional. Anyway, I'm gonna stop. Chan is absolute genius when it comes to songwriting and music production. He has pretty much 100% control over the music and Stray Kids make together, making it all more incredible considering the overall high standard of the record they create. Chan produced their pre-debut track, Elevator, based solely on some best beast Fuck! Beats, so, ah! Beats slash audio tracks he has produced on his laptop, also known as SKZ's Holy... <laughs> Depending on, for example, like me, I think I'm a bit like Chris. When it comes, well, obviously, I don't work as hard as him, and if I can show it's because I'm not at the main stage of Moses himself. I don't know. But I'm a bit like that. I like the way Chris thinks in terms of like, you know, working yourself to quite a high demand. Because you, yes, there are, there are a lot of cons with working that hard, like mental health wise. But when you have your life scheduled as much as he does, depending on the person, they can really thrive from that. But obviously there are probably like a large, and I don't know, I don't know what this is based on like population wise. There's probably a, a lot of people who hate that concept, hate scheduling. They hate, you know, getting up is one thing, but getting up with a schedule that's a completely different thing because your mind if you are that way inclined you can trick your brain into of course depending on your background and such but you can trick your brain into thinking that you're gonna have like a positive outlook on the day all you have to do is just say before you go to sleep i'm gonna get a good night rest and i'm gonna wake up feeling great obviously that's not to say like everyone and that's a pretty arrogant thing for me to say but people like me it does then schedule my own life i can get a lot more shit done and i think that comes down to like a, a stoic level i suppose like living living in moderation not having too little of something not having too much of something you know too much sleep can make you feel like crap for the rest of the day even though you're like oh i got enough sleep you didn't like because your body you know is then over relaxed that's somewhat that's not very scientific right or when say you don't have enough sleep and you just feel slumped you've got a hump all day everyone that talks to you is like you just want to say fuck off like <laughs> just something like that you know it's, it's a lot better kind of life and I, and I and I get what Chris is doing it's it's good it's respectable very respectable and you know not to talk over him or anything but it's just he it looks like he has a lot to offer to the world and you know that's a that's a blessing in a lot of people's eyes but i just think that's needed in this world there's there's so many people in this world that don't have they don't have a good influence or something you know either they are they grew up in a rundown area there's drugs in that area you know there's not a lot of ways to make it out of anywhere that they live in situation wise you know you you go on the internet and you find people like chris and it's obviously paying off because it's really it's really shaping a generation and people are relying on it but you know that's that's to say that you know chris is human of course he has his flaws because he's because he is human you know you're not human without flaws but at the moment in time i'm thinking chris is probably one of the best best people in k-pop at the moment my opinion Regardless of being the oldest member or the leader of the group, Chan always puts the best first their happiness. Well-being and opinions are incredibly important, important to him. He refers to the members as the kids and he really does have a beautiful bond with all of them. Not only do they respect him as their leader, but they also love him dearly and enjoy teasing and playing around with him. So I can get a clear, clear view of the kids and everything. It just makes me feel safe and makes me feel like, you know, I'll make sure that no one's left behind. And if we're standing in a line facing someone, I always like to look at the 
Chan is, I can declare, a very emotionally intelligent person. <laughs> What's the best formula? No, uh, what am I doing? He's definitely like a pure soul. I think that, I think that, you know, that comes as much as like his personality, his character, the person he's developed as. You know, that's something you definitely learn. You know, there's, there's no doubt that he loves humans. And to think about someone more than yourself to that level, literally standing back and watching them and seeing how they are, you know, it's it's good. It's good. And we need more people like that. Chan has gorgeous, naturally curly hair. He's such girly, naturally hair. And so damn fluffy and adorable. He does often have it natural, but when he does, us stays go wild for it. <laughs> <laughs> It's curlier already. I'm going to swim in your dimples. Chan has prominent dimple on his cheek, which comes when he smiles. It's adorable. Stays mention it a lot when I tell you what, a female demographic is absolutely wonders. <laughs> like if say if it was a male audience, I'd be like, he's pretty tall, he's got a good airline, he's got, he's got nice hair. But obviously female dem demographic go brazy. And uh, <laughs> a lot when we attempt to flirt with them. Dimples <laughs> isn't that deep enough. Oh, and that's another thing, like when you guys give me compliments, I'm not used to it because <laughs> it shows the female demographic is so much different to having a boy demographic. Like, say if I turn the wrong way, like, for example, back in the day, I would I would do gaming content, and I did a live stream once, and a guy literally just came in, and he said, all right, Squidward knows. I was just like, oh, I'm so offended. So now I've got you guys. Literally, look at that. How have I done that? How have you, how are you? It, it must be just the the strike is like uh, magnetism. I don't know, something like that. And you just you guys like literally come into my live streams and you just give me compliments. I'm like, guys, I don't deserve this. So <laughs> it's, it's so strange. <laughs> I don't have any dimples. Like I'm not cool enough. Still no, I got here. chubby cheeks. It is a big one. Ah. Here. Yeah, dimples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, leave a comment down below. I've always wondered this. Is it cool to have like chubby as cheeks like, like that or whatever I've got? I've just got a lot of face fat, I think. Or the dimples, like whatever that. I wouldn't even look that cool. I'd look like the Joker or something. Or I'd look like Chucky. Is that Chucky? The Chucky Cheese thing? No, not Chucky Cheese. The, the little toy thing guy. <laughs> I think I look like him. <laughs> In conclusion, Bang Chan is one of the nicest and most humble humans to ever exist. He's hardworking, loyal, and a loyal leader. A caring, selfless person, and above all, an extremely skilled and well-respected artist who just has much more recognition for what he does. That, that's so true. Minecraft hearts. <laughs> I'm gonna guess who's next, you know, in the list. If if this is the end of Chris. Oh, the end of Chris. No, don't leave me, Chris. But well, um, I'm gonna go for Chang Bin. If if the Chang if Chang Bin's next, um, you have to do five roly polies. Five, not two and a half. Five. <laughs> no. Oh, now you have to do one roly poly because I don't know. It's, it's what we agreed on, right? Lee Min Ho. Stay Lee Min Ho. Date of birth, 25th, 1998. Uh, oh, Gimpo. Group roles, vocalist, dancer, sub rapper, visual. A visual. A of a visual. Min Ho is one of the main slash lead dancers within Stray Kids, as well as a talented vocalist and sub rapper. Despite having a tough start to his trainee days, please refer to the survival show. Min Ho is one of the most talented yet underrated members of the group. Here are some of my favorite examples of his vocal and rap skills. By the way, I completely forgot to give a shout out to whoever requested me to spot a scratch. What? I just like saying random things. I just do. What's wrong with me? I literally just be walking down the road and say, Pin in! Well, it's not a random word. It's actually, it's, it's actually an observation, so. Uh, oh, do you ever get it? Like, my lips are never chapped, by the way, but... Also, I want to shout out to 1LVIF. When I don't post K-pop content, I like to post just some... Just stuff that makes me laugh, really. So, it's a, it's a, go check out this video and shout out to LVIF. And who else was it? Oh, yeah, and shout out to Aluna Fire. I basically just done a video where I look back at my childhood. Like, my childhood TV... My favorite TV shows just growing up. So, the point in what I'm trying to say... Shout out to... Aya Hassan. Shout out to you. And uh, thank you very much. Let's go. Part of Dance Ratcha.
Oh wait, you can't hear it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mission in action. Mission in action. I can't speak. Missing in action. Any. Sorry. <laughs> Chronosaurus. I'm so glad it's not Chromosaurus. Bloody hell. Woo. Imagine if it was Chromo. I like high pitched songs. I don't know what it is. Luxor. Golly, no. I don't know what I'm gonna do like to replace this music, by the way. I'll probably put some like Beyonce or some shit. Mino started dancing when he was in middle school and become a, and became a backup dancer for BTS during their tour in 2017. I bet BTS are kicking themselves now. He states that because of because of that experience, he wanted to become an idol himself as he loved being on stage. Well, I mean, I would probably have retired at that point, being a backup dancer for BTS. I could put down my resume and go work at a nine to five because then. I could be like to all the customers, hey, you buying that tin of soup or kimchi fried rice. I was a backup dancer for BTS. Get on my level, bitch. I'm not that person in kind. I'm so sorry. Please accept my apology. This led him ultimately become a trainee under JYP. And amazingly, fuck, he only trained for less than 12 months, trained for less than a year before debuting with Stray Kids. Okay, now I'm, I'm self-conscious. Right? I'm just pretending I know what that is. <laughs> do, do, do. During the survival show, Minho choreographed their routine to Elevator, as well as ensuring he took extra effort in helping the others, other member team to move and didn't fall behind. He is exceptionally fucking hell, talented dancer who not only con contributes to the choreography of their music, but has also released a solo album of a fully self choreographed routine on their YouTube channel. Let's take a minute to check out some of my favorite clips showing just how amazing Minho at dancing and performing. That's cool. Oh, my, I, my body is seizing up. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's now midnight. 51 minutes, Jesus Christ. Minho. <laughs> cool. I like how he's dressed. What is he dressed like? He's dressed like Han Solo. <laughs> Han Solo with leather pants. Oh my god, did I just say pants? I'm becoming more, more of an American. Oh, Jesus Christ. I meant trousers. Leather trousers. I would be severely bullied by my friends if I said that. Yes. Great friends they are. Believe me. Yes, again. Is, is that cool? I guess it is. He's doing the sexual. <laughs> oh, my God. He literally could have been in like... This is what I was thinking, because like, Magic Mike. <laughs> I just think Magic Mike every time. Lee Min Ho could initially be described as strong yet silent type. Silent but deadly. Like a fart. A wet fart. What's worse? Leave a comment down below. A wet fart or a fart fart? A wet fart, if you don't know, is a shitty fart. Anyway, however, the more you learn about him, the more you realize he really is just a caring, a very caring, honest, yet unique human being. He's one of the oldest members, so he tends to, he tends to look after the younger ones. However, he isn't scared of falling around, even when on camera, and always tends to be himself. He can be equally as loud, hyper, and, and, and savage, just like the other. So. Oh, 
아, 동료회도 있고. 무슨 거울은 티켓! 거울은 티켓! I sounded really Australian. Go to Golden Tiki. I just need to hear that again. Go to Golden Tiki. Nice. Come on, you know. Good Tiki. He has three cats who absolutely adores more than anything called Doongi, Suni, and Dory. He is officially Stray Kids' resident cat dad. Yo. Cat in boots. A puss in boots. Inza, Tungdunga. Oh, what? I'm checking. What am I doing? So I was just checking my pulse. Stay in your. Ta, no, don't yong. Cat, dad, cat, dad. Yeah, they want to do that. What are you doing? As long as he. Who's that guy in Simpsons? Sacho Bob? No. Uh, he can be cute when he wants to make a professional definition, definition of <laughs> I really want a bucket hat now. I'll do it. What the fuck? Hi. Oh my god, his face scared me. I'm not kidding. Literally, I was just at the corner of my eye just seeing this. <laughs> so that's the screen. And that's... <laughs> Why did that scare me so damn much? <laughs> I was like, the fuck? <laughs> In conclusion, Lino is a quirky, cute, and funny member of SKZ who is both great at singing, rapping, yes, absolutely exceptional, with his dance skills and knowledge. <laughs> yes, in conclusion, slides, scary. Someone just shout, are you okay? Hey, with that being said, I need to reset the camera again. God damn, sucks, doesn't it? Stage, oh, Chang Bin! See, I missed one. All right, now you have to do four roly polies. Sio Chang Bin. <laughs> Search engine optimization. That wasn't funny though. Nickname, Bini. Uh, 999, Young Jin. Young Jin. Young Jin. South Korea. Group pros, lead rapper, sub vocalist, producer, songwriter, dancer. Woo! Chang Bin is one of the three main rappers of, of within Stray Kids and also part of the rap subunit trio, three rapper. Uh, his stage name is Spibby. Machine gun flow, mate. Get on my level. He is, without a doubt, one of the best rappers out there. He's versatile with his flow, managing to easily adapt his tone. Oh my god. Flow, tone. God damn. T no, sugar. Are you a rapper? Oh my god. Oh! And did I forget to mention, he is also one of the fastest rappers in K pop. I mean, ridiculously fast. Can't say quick with me, mate. I did a speed run of that. <laughs> He's pretty confident in his ability, I will admit. Oh, that's just me, like. I know you can't hear it. I'm so sorry. Miro. Miro. Oh, we need to check out this. Oh, Changbin Flow. Let's go, Changbin Flow. I did a, what did I do? I did a Stray Kids, like, BuzzFeed tier list or something like that. No, it wasn't a tier list. It was something else. Where I actually said my bias of who Stray Kids is. I might have said Seung Min, but I may take it back. Chang Bin is like, he might be it. He might be it for me. I just like him. Like, he's just a likable guy. More than the rest, apparently. Despite, despite being a hard hit. I'm... I'll stop, I'll stop. An incredibly adaptable rapper, Chang Bin is also a wonderfully talented singer as well. Most new fans are pretty surprised when they hear him sing, as he is such a well-known and respected rapper. Ah, just in my butt. Within the industry, that most don't expect him to have such a wonderful voice. <laughs> Marry me, Chang Bin. Marry me. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, we've officially got 45 seconds till we hit an hour. <laughs> Oh, we have checked out Street Life. Go freaking check it out. If you have not, then you are a fake viewer person. Tw uh, tw uh, 20 seconds. 
Cuidado! Oh yeah, let me just be happy about... I'm sorry, yeah. Ah, three, two, one. Boom, we've hit an hour, baby. Like and subscribe. Dedication is most. <laughs> In 2020, Changbin participated in the popular show Max Singer, where disguised idols perform for a celebrity audience who then have to guess who is based solely on what they hear. Due to Changbin choosing to both rap and sing during his segment, the audience had no idea who it was and were absolutely blown away. <laughs> when that's such an ego boost, isn't it? It's like, ah, bask in my talent, motherfucker! Yeah, I'm fucking CEO Changbin. Get in my bin, Ch Changbin. Please, oh! <laughs> I can. Can breathe out both noses. Oh, I have a good feeling that is. I will enjoy. Thank you. So, fuck you. We're gonna be blocked there. What? Is this there? I can't see anyone. Sorry. That's Chang Bin. Why does he look so different here? Boom! <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. All the other contestants must be like, fuck! Where fuck this guy! During the SKZ survival show, Changbin hugely proved himself to be an unbelievably talented rapper. It is believed that he was scouted by several agencies before choosing agencies before choosing JYP. Yup. That was that he was that sought after. Just like Chan, Chang Bin is very passionate about the group's music production and overall message that their songs give to fans. He has a large input into the songwriting process, production, and theme behind their tracks. He likes to time what? He likes to time take study into the concept of their lyrics, and he really takes pride in what their music is all self-produced and personal. Chan을 했던 것 같아요. 미로라는 곡에서 이제 서점을 갔는데 공부하고 싶고 좀더 철학적으로도 다가가고 싶어서 직접 사서 읽고 했었습니다. 많은 영광을 받은 것 같아요. 좀 생각을 많이 했고 좀 자부심이 있는 것 같아요. Let's go. Why does that not look like Changbin? Why is my perception of Changbin so much different? Maybe it's just cameras. Maybe I don't know. Well, I'm thirsty, people. Bloody hell! Where are the drinks around here, eh? Where's the goddamn caterers? So I can't even lie. I'm actually starving at this point. So I will all the uh, fucking. I'll mute myself. But all right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna eat. All right. Is that all right? Yeah. He also tries really hard to ensure that other members do their best when it comes to song input and recordings. He has his own fair way of both complimenting and criticizing them. But ultimately, he wants them to achieve their highest potential and be happy with what they do. But me. All right. I'm gonna take a break. Oh, this is so cold. I've got a fever or something. You may be asking, like, Fred, how are you still alive? I know. It's, it's insane. My body's just just a temple. Also, I want to take this time. How are you doing? H how are you doing? How was your day? Hope you had an amazing day. I don't know why. I'm just pretending to be crazy. I'm not pretending. I am, <laughs> I'm, I'm a nice guy also. I want to know if you had a good day today. If not... How bad? You don't need to explain it. It's fine. I just, I just hope these videos uh, help you guys as well as much as they help me. Actually, I just figured out I'm not that hungry anymore. The hell's wrong with me? Anyway, let's on with it. <laughs> on with the show. <laughs> I am a rapier. <laughs> If I just read that, I have just read that, haven't I? Oh my, I've, like, that's just a good example. See, that doesn't look like Chang Bin. Am I? It looks like a mega chat. You know the um that meme. Why does he look like that all of a sudden? Is there something wrong with me? Bin 말이 아니고 이 녹음인데 되게 중요한 일이잖아요. 어, 그러니까 소리 그냥 좀더 크게 내가 소리 식으로 네 스타일대로 그냥 해봐. 막 만들어도 돼. 자연스럽게 멋있게. 어디 
<laughs> and he's happy with that, so good for him. Due to his cute nature and over the top, sickly sweet e egg yo, I think, a cute display of affection made by using a baby like voice, cute facial expressions, and gestures. The nickname stuck, you will hear it constantly within the fandom. Whenever anyone refers to Champion, it also his character within the recently released Skazoo. <laughs> Why does everyone just go, Ow! Oh! oh my god! <laughs> Decky, fuck off. Oh, oh Chang Bin, <laughs> despite being one of the oldest motherfuckers, is known. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> to act like a fake Magne. Magne is Korean for youngest. Thank you for that. That, despite his tough, buff exterior, he is an absolute softy. Um, I'm glad we're using the word softy. Who loves nothing more than physical affection, acting cute, and getting attention of the others. <laughs> we good? Yeah. He's, he is something, isn't he? So, in, I didn't mean that in a bad way. So, in conclusion, CEO Chang Bin is one of the fastest and most talented rappers within the industry. He strives for perfection in what he creates. He is also a complete and utter softie who likes to act cute. What the fuck? I just read that. What the hell? You just copy and paste this? Pringles. Oh fuck, Gang Jin, what a guy. Thousand South Korea Seoul, also known as Fourth Gen It Boy. Before he or knowing anything about Stray Kids, most people know about Hyun Jin. He has recently boomed in popularity and became a very well-known idol, especially via social media. With most referring to him as the K-pop's Fourth Gen It Boys. He is very well known for his ethereal looks. Ethereal? Like a hobbit? What's going on? Jesus Christ. Let's just move on. Ethereal looks. I don't get that. Because his long hair. Well, did have long hair. He's definitely one of the few people who suit long hair. Before we focus on his impeccable dance skills, let's check out some egg examples of his vocal and her rap parts throughout the SKZ discography. I've chosen. Sorry. Some of my favorite favorites. I hope you enjoy. I will, probably. Most likely. Come on. Show me how it is. Right now. Oh yes, I took a break. What the hell did I do? I just went on TikTok. Oh right, anyway. <laughs> There's so many songs I need to check out, man. I need, I need, I need like my own discography of songs I haven't listened to. Uh, I can barely call myself a reactor, can I? Yeah, beautiful singing voice. Hyun Jin. Hyun Jin is an exceptional dancer and performer. He easily captivates audiences with his facial expressions and stage presence as he really loses himself with the role or theme of the performance he's doing. I did a BTS. That's always cool when I, you know, other established. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> however, his raw talent often gets ignored due to his looks. Really? What's so wrong with him? He looks like a fucking model. Like, why Why would you not look at him? Especially since his popularity grew, and so did his hair. Okay. Hyun Jin has always said he wanted to be known for his talent and not for his good looks. Hence why he worked so hard to improve himself. Oh, fucking hell. As overall performer, so people can notice that first before his face and hair. Coolio. <laughs> I'm off to the shops, mom. Hold on, I need to check my fucking PC specs. I need to check my PC specs. Got 25 gigs of footage left. Oh, hit that. Oh, you go, boy. Yeah. Oh, 
I have like a block there also. So I can't really. Yeah, like that. I'm falling apart. Oh, jeez. If I put Billie Eilish in any YouTube video, they'll take down my channel. I'm not even kidding. Billie Eilish's copyright team fucking kill you. Alright, they'll get your neck and just squeeze. Squeeze a little soul out of you. So, she's definitely not getting in the video. <laughs> Cool. During his trainee days, Hyunjin was criticized about his pronunciation during his rap parts. But despite this setback, he worked twice as hard to ensure he fixed the issue and even asked for advice of the other members to help him improve, which he did. Yay! <laughs> If some fun fact. Despite his insane talent and stage presence, Hyunjin is totally different when he's off stage. Fans often refer him as a little bit of a drama queen because he's loud, adorable, and totally quirky, softy. <laughs> I've done that so many times. You go to like flick your hair up and you just poke yourself in the eye. Why are you speaking Korean? What are you doing? What are you doing? Your behavior is so bad. No, 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 Hairband. Oh, hairband. Nice. Hairband. Oh my god, that's awesome. That bitch, you should already know. He has a puppy called Kagami. That's cute. Uh, actually, no, I don't like that doll. What the hell is that doll? I thought it was like um, like a husky or something for a sec. He frequently includes it in his vlogs and uploaded SKZ channel. Oh, I hate them types of guys. Oh, fuck. Is it a Pomeranian? Something like that, isn't it? Face like the devil. Okay. I'm so heart peace. I'm gonna start using that. He brings heart peace. In conclusion, Hyunjin is just a pretty face. What? Uh oh. <laughs> He's not just a pretty face. And in conclusion, ah, ah Lord. Or one with the long hair he is caring emotional wonderful soul who works hard who works so hard to constantly improve himself and give the fans the very best he physically can please love him lots please <laughs> donate today so show jim can constantly improve himself oh sorry dad all i can just say just cheer up and i'm so sorry that i couldn't be with you but you know I'm I always be with you and straight kids will always be with you. Adorable. But <laughs> when he said when he said this, oh it reminded me of something. I'm so sorry that all I can just say just cheer up. <laughs> it's like it's like all right so obviously that's not to take away of course he's doing well. It was good English and, and it's obviously a good message that he's spreading. But when he said just cheer, cheer up, up. It's literally the most British thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry to make this like a personality about me, personality thing about me, but it's like, oh, you've had a shit day. Cheer up. up. You know, I think I think English British people can rec uh, relate. And just song, baby. All right, get him in my cup. Sip it up. Oh my god. Stage name Han 2000 in Incheon. Never heard of that. South Korea. <laughs> Great Wells, lead rapper, sing uh, lead singer, producer, songwriter, dancer, mood maker. <laughs> Fuck. Three Ratcha. Ah, okay. Han is what we call all rounder, meaning he excels at all his roles within the group, especially his vocals and rap. So, not only is he fast and insanely versatile rapper, Jisung is also a stunning vocalist who can hit ridiculously high notes. Ah! Ah! High notes with confident, laid back ease. Oh. I will get I'll get through this video. I, I I'm not even that like feeling that shit. It's just it's annoying me that I'm feeling this way. I think it's the main thing. And anyway, we're like ten thousand miles away from each other, so you're not gonna catch whatever I've got. 
Oh, not that fast then, fucking hell. I feel like I'm on a bullet train. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I really do like this song. I, I think I have reacted to it. As someone who takes media in college, I really like this shot. That shot, I don't know what it is about that shot. I really like it. I like the angle it's at. I like the mise en scene. Beautiful. French people, hug me. Oh, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm COVID, COVID. Horse man. Gosh, he's absolutely. Oh, yeah, I swear about a painting and put it in my bathroom. Oh, I'd love to stare at his face whilst I'm taking my hands. What? Taking time to wash my hands, of course. I'd be like, one hand just sung, two hand just sung, three hand just sung, four hand just sung, five. Like and subscribe. That's. Uh. Unbelievably, Jis Sung often describes himself as a shy introvert who struggles with crowds and new people. I relate. Recommend it. No, I don't. However, <laughs> his overall happy pill. Fucking hell. Don't, don't want to mention that. This is child friendly. Energy and commanding stage presence really is on another level, proving just how happy being on stage he makes. Makes him. <laughs> We're halfway through now, I've just realised. And we're an hour and 25 minutes in. Oh shit, oh, sorry. When the video, it gets to 30 minutes and stops recording. All right, hang on. 23.6 gigs left, oh Jesus Christ. Even as a young teen, during his trainee days, Jisung proved himself to be an energetic, talented, and charismatic performer. He was just 17 years old during this iconic pre-debut performance. 17. Damn. This is why I'm jealous of most people at uh, 17. Like, my voice didn't properly stop like croaking until I was probably 18. This is what I'm talking about. My voice just, it didn't get to this stage until I was like 18. <laughs> Amen. That's so sick. <laughs> this song is known for his heartfelt warming and often personal lyrics showing for his words to be as real raw and relatable as possible even if the topics he writes about such as mental health issues etc can be seen as a little taboo you're kidding me you're freaking kidding me oh, i can't believe that can't believe it couldn't relate within the stereotypical k-pop genre and that's what it takes right to be the best take sacrifice i mentioned that already I, you think i'm goddamn oh god god no <laughs> In his most recent self solo self-written release, Alien, he speaks open- I haven't heard about Alien, I'll be honest. Is it E.T.? Does E.T. come in? I do love Alien vs. Predator, I'll be honest. About loneliness and depression- oh, well, it's definitely not about AVP then. He states that even if you feel out of place in the world, just like an alien, someone will find you, accept you, and hold you tight. A lot of stays found comfort in this song, me included, as everyone can personally inter interpret its meaning. <laughs> That sound pretty cool. Although you can't hear it, which I forget. <laughs> it genuinely makes me happy. But just sung makes music simply because he enjoys so. He says that it fills his body with happiness and even more so when he knows he's making others happy as well. I love, I do love Spotify myself, but of course I'm not talented to make it. So, thus, I'm a sad mother fridger. Yeah, 
행복만 제 몸에 가득 차는 느낌이라서 아? 네, 곡 작업을 하는 것 같습니다. 걱정도 되고. I suppose he's quite lucky because you know some people struggle. They do. They're um, in this world, very cold world. You know, if if you come to that conclusion, then well done. But you know, music is something is a bit of an escape for most people, like myself, and that's why I love reacting to it. That's why I love listening to it. So yeah, it's always good. It's always good. However, as much as he works non-stop to ensure the happiness of others, the members also want to make sure that he is happy as well, and he continues to make the music he loves regardless of what others think. Here, Chang Bin explains. Ah, 걱정이 자꾸 돼요, 걔는. 자꾸 아, 걱정 많이 되는 뭔가 다른 뭔가 뭐가 있어서 그런 게 아니고 그냥 그냥 행복했으면 좋겠고 행복하지만 지금 행복하지만 평생 이제 자기 좋아하는 음악 계속 좋아해 좋아하고 이렇게 되게 그런 안쓰러운 이렇게 했습니다. Tell us something. Fun facts, baby. Due to living in Malaysia as as a large part of his childhood slash early teens, Jisang has rather good knowledge of both understanding and speaking. English. Never done that you want to try. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. You cried a lot. I cried a lot. You know, bungee jump is scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's scary. Really, it's scary. I'm afraid of like high things. Okay. Okay. Continues. I was 17, uh -huh. and I have a lot of like scared things yes. at that time. Yes. Of course, now I can do it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, hell yeah. Alright. We are the straight key Zuri Oh, he's too good. Just I love it when like people could just flow on beats so effortlessly. Jisung attends the DEF Academy, which is known for its high quality training in both singing and rap before he became a trainee. He is also super good at freestyle rap. I love those Minecraft glasses. I'm just rapping all day. Ah. day! Let's go. Oh shit. Oh, battery got that. I can't, I can't win with this camera. Haha, <laughs> we bet, baby. Alright, let's go. Audio sync. One, two, three. I was number five. Ah, oh, never mind. Oh, my eyes. Woo wee! Oh, dang. Because of his adorable chubby round cheeks, Jisung has been given a nickname Quokka and Squirrel by both Stays and the other members, even using it as a personal design for their latest merch. I tell you what, everything's a goddamn business model. Model, model, model. Oh my. Sneezy time, baby. Turn me into your beady eyes. I felt like this, this was since your mum. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the way he eats, isn't it? Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had chubby cheeks, I'll be honest. Overall, Jisung is just a wonderful human being. He's a constant mood maker uh, within the group. Keep forgetting like this terminology, mood maker, my bad. Within the group, known for being both loud and hyper, yet always ensuring that other members are happy and taken care of. He can also be equally as caring. Soft but serious when he needs to be. <laughs> Oh, uh, I just, do you ever get like, um, down by the schoolyard? Uh, no. I'll put it on screen now, whatever it is. Me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Of course, I can't play it on YouTube. See, this is why YouTube is like so good and so shit at the same time. Good with my bullshit. <sighs> is it called Julio? Haha, <laughs> uh, it's this Paul Simon. I just, just get some random like, I'm just so spontaneous. Negation, <laughs> oh, we can do karaoke. It's against the law. Mama saw it was against the law. Mama looked down and I spit on the ground every time it was mentioned. Julio down by the schoolyard. See me and Julio down by the schoolyard. I've had enough. Me and Julio are down by the schoolyard. Spoke the joy. Oh yeah, baby. Don't smoke weed. Don't do any of that. Uh, it's the devil's lettuce and you'll die. No, you won't. But anyway, overall, Jisung is just a wonderful human being. He's like, oh, I just read that. <laughs> Felix! Oh, I'm so good at doing bra. Oh, yeah, shut up. Uh, Lee Young Bok, Stage A Felix, 15th September 2000, Sydney, Australia. Group was the dancers, of rappers, and vocalists, uh, Sunshine. <laughs> I'm dying now. Felix was born in Australia, meaning he's 100% fluent in English and, uh, and knew very little Korean. Aside from being the, from the basics, he moved to Seoul to become a trainee. However, after a lot of determination, practice, and help from the other members, Felix is now pretty much fluent in Korean. <laughs> can't be me! No, you can't! 
me and Julio down by for this is many that known to be the Australian one with a deep voice. Yes, I know that and I said that and no one bullied me quite strangely which is true yes he has an incredibly surprisingly deep voice but he also is more than that of course everyone else god damn it however before we delve deeper into learning more about our wonderful sunshine here are some prime examples just how deep and amazing his voice really is i'm starting to think this was like school work so you gotta do a presentation for the class this is your video hey a lot of effort is going to this It's definitely a style, just not my style. Bah. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Okay, I like it. This is my style. It just depends on the beat, really. Although Felix doesn't sing that often within SKZ songs, he really does have a lovely singing voice. He mainly sings covers during his solo V live streams as a treat for fans, but also claims he's super shy while doing so. Luckily, us and other members always hype him up and praise him for giving it a go despite his nerves. Okay, that is quite adorable. I can a lie. There's a light that you give me when I'm in shadow. There's a feeling you give me. Never it's pretty good. Okay. I'll be honest, if he's like, if he was at the pub and he was doing karaoke, I wouldn't boo him off. I'd be like, yeah, let's, let's go. What, how does it go? Let you go. I'd be like, let you go, motherfucker. Yeah. There's a feeling you give me. Well, right, yeah, I just gotta drink some more pints. Yeah, some good singing. Oh, really? Let's yeah. go, Chris. <laughs> oh, that was <is> terrible. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good? Yeah. What are you yes, watching? Yeah. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, yeah. It was good. It was good? You did good. Yeah, you did good. Don't, don't, don't um, underestimate your singing skills, man. Okay? That's good. Oh, what a guy. Despite being known as a rapper within the group, Felix is also one of the main dancers with SKZ. He is part of the Dance Ratchet unit. Stay tuned for more info. Hey, bro! And also hosted a K pop dance show called Pops in Seoul. F feel free to check that out while he taught popular K pop dancers in English. <laughs> like the arms, like shape like this. Come on. Shape like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and Five and six and seven and eight. Cool. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Get it. The thing is, even if I knew how to do all this, I just wouldn't have the confidence. So there's a lot more than me. <laughs> Next second, he's about to sneeze. <laughs> Oh, get it. Get, 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 get. Cameras really do like lights, don't they? See, in this sort of setting, it just looks awesome. But like he just did that like little performance on the grass, it was kind of like, okay, that's pretty cool. Despite being a deep voiced rapper who stays the stage with his performance, Felix is actually a soft guti who is known to be incredibly affectionate and cuddly with the members. There is a reason his name is Sunshine. I just realized, it's like a, it's like you guys are watching a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> You bit your thighs. That's just kinky. He's adorable. He's cute. He's lovable. He's heartwarming. And he's just, you know, my little brother who just really likes to have fun and really likes to get close with his other brothers, aka Stray Kids. His oh, other sure. brothers from another mother. Oh. He looks so different in every setting. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Brownie, brownie, brownie. Okay. Some fun facts. Phoenix is also known as the brownie boy. And it's his recent hobby of make <laughs> Sorry. Making sweet treats such as cakes and brownies for both the other members, staff, and also other idols when they are at music shows, etc. Brownie, 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 brownie. Oh wow. They, they look like something. Give me one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my box of shit. Love it. Felix is. I thought I was hearing Jim for a sec. An abundance of gorgeous natural freckles all over his face. They used to be hidden in the early stages of SKZ, covered up by makeup, etc. But now he embraces them and they are all part of the beauty and charm. I tell you what, if you got freckles, obviously don't hide them. Because, like, you literally. It's such a compliment to know that there's a legit filter that people use in spite of not having them in real life. But they, because they want it. And people surgically get freckles. So if you have freckles and fucking show them. Oh, Jesus. Don't be afraid of him. I actually have really light freckles. Not 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 as uh clear as Felix's. Uh, Felix's freckles are so beautiful. Like it's actually just normal to one life deal. Felix's freckles. <laughs> They're so good he had to go to Korean. They're the best. <laughs> not the best, but like no. they are nice to look at. <laughs> Very it's one of his biggest charms, I think. I love Felix Felix's fre freckles. I can't even say it properly. I really like. I fucking love his Felix freckles. Oh my! Let me just marry them. Felix's freckles. There we go. Felix's freckles. It's a tongue twister. Felix freckles. Purple burglar alarm. Go to any. Go, this is what I've always wanted to say on the video. Just it just sounds so weird without any context. Tongue twisters are my most funniest thing. But go to a, a Scottish man or woman or anything. A cat. Go to a Scottish cat and ask him to pronounce purple burglar alarm. And go like, alright, this is my best impersonation. Please don't be offended. Purple burglar alarm. <laughs> oh no, no, that's not my best. Um, they go, purple burglar alarm. No, I can't do it. I, I'm, I'm too, I'm too southern. Jesus Christ. This isn't really a fact. However. Once you join the fandom, you will soon learn about Felix and his egg. He started off as a random moment during Chan's room that quickly developed into a running joke. Fucking hell, what don't they do that runs a joke? Or a business model, Jesus Christ. Within the fandom and the boys, with Felix using the egg emoji randomly on social media, even prompting Stace to come up with a theory for it. What came first, chicken or the goddamn egg? Apparently, of course, that's... I know this goes against some people's beliefs, but on a different topic, apparently... A T Rex is related to a chicken. I didn't know that. I thought that was pretty cool. Hey. I'll accept it. <laughs> accept All right. It. Come ah. in. Excellent. What the heck? Yeah. Where, where, where'd you get your egg from? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll, um, well, someone gave it to me. And so, <gasps> an egg. So we gotta egg stop with the yolks. I don't know. Whoa! Whoa. I broke, broke the shell. shell. You friggin' friggin' no. egg man. But oh my like, god. It's not raw egg. It's not raw? <laughs> It's not real egg. I don't think it's My friend wouldn't give me. I love that. I hate eggs. But they're all right in other ingredients. In conclusion, Felix is a soft, adorable baby who says who says the stage yet is just a pure, full of pure love. I'm just gonna read it how I fucking love, uh, how I normally read it. He loves SKZ and stay more than anything in the world, and he is never ashamed to admit that. Because everyone's so lovely. So I don't even know if I deserve this. Sorry. <laughs> but Pardon I'm, me. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I can't, I can't express it in words, but I wish I could express it with hugs and I don't know, kisses. I hope Stray Kids does. Um, I'm not that way in In a way, heal everyone in this kind of situation. And I hope everyone stays strong. Like you would think, because like I, I don't do that to people. You would think I was love deprived, but no, I, I've, I've had a very good childhood. I was, I was, I'm, I'm very loved in the world that I live in. But it's just that like, it's not like I know it comes down. Maybe it's culture, but I don't think it is. I think it literally comes down to the person you are. Of course, I know like humans are a part of their environment. So if you see people cuddling and loving each other, then I suppose you do become that way intended. But for me to go up to and say like of course you guys are the world to me like i i've i've put youtube first over a lot of things nowadays i think and i'm very much it makes me happier it does because i'm doing stuff in my life i swore to myself probably like two 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 and a bit years ago 
I swore to myself, do things that make you happy, all right? And I know it's, it's for some people it's obvious, but for me, I always put people ahead of me or say like, if someone wasn't, wasn't feeling the greatest, I'd, I'd spend the whole day with them. I would try my 100% best to cheer them up. But nowadays, I'm a bit of a selfish break. It's the truth. But I think in some way, it's benefited me because with that being said, I, I focus more on YouTube, you know, thus me kind of like snowball effect meeting you guys. Of course, the people that watch my content, it's amazing. It's amazing what we have. I'll be honest. And you guys absolutely mean the world to me. But what Felix said, not to be like, you know, I'd I'd like say if we did like a meet up, a greet one day, like a cool. I know I'm not anywhere near that in my YouTube career. I suppose. And I know I sound quite optimistic about it because I know it's gonna happen. Like I love, I love doing YouTube. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I know it is. We'll, we'll do like a like a meet up one day. Of course, I'd love to give like people hugs and stuff. Uh, of course, with uh, face masks and if COVID isn't or or World War Three hasn't happened. As like um like an example, like he said figuratively, he'd give you hugs and kisses. For me, I'd just give you a hug. I'll give you a, a dap like sweet nice thanks for watching my content <laughs> um or just something like that that's like that's the way the way i think and i tried to I, i'm trying to be as sincere as possible that's what i'm trying to be anyway kim seong min nice let's go probably my second favorite no it goes changbin seong min and then i haven't figured out the rest i'll be honest seong min 2000 seoul south korea group host uh lead vocalist and uh, sub dancer Jimin is one of Stray Kids' lead slash main vocalists within the group. And when I say this man can sing, this man can freaking sing. And of course, I'm such a fucking, I'm a bitch. I am. I, I, I literally, I see anyone that can sing. I'm like, you want to marry me? You know, because I just love it. I love that. This is why I'd like, <laughs> I'm so narcissistic to the point. If I could sing, I'd be like, peasants. All of you, peasant, because uh, <laughs> you can't sing. No, I can't sing. So I'm, I'm kind of stuck with the rest. <laughs> I'm, I'm chatting so much shit. I honestly, that was a joke. It's all satirical. Don't take any of this serious. His vocal range is super impressive, from low tones to ridiculously flawless high notes. Just like just just sung, Seung Min takes most of the highest vocals during their songs. <laughs> Sadly, Seung Min is often overlooked and underappreciated despite his insane vocal abilities. I'll be honest, okay, and this is sidetracking from all of this. Seung Min looks like a very, a very reserved person. He doesn't seem, because you know that, you know that saying, he or she who shouts the loudest becomes the leader or something. It's something along those lines. I'll, I'll actually put it there because I kind of live by it. Is there, you know, to, I guess, get a foot up in this world. Sometimes you, to meet people, you need confidence and then confidence can transfer into different type of energies. Um, it's, it's sounding like I'm getting quite preachy here, but, you know, making me realize that, you know, he or Sashi does shout the loudest, can become more noticed. And of course, when I look at all these videos, I barely see young men in it. I barely see, yeah, I, I I barely see Seung Min in it, so it's like, I guess I'm right, I guess. It's probably not the way I explain it is right, it's just, if you understand it, you understand it. However, over the last few SKZ comebacks, he has really shined throughout their songs, and it's becoming more and more apparent to the new fans are noticing his vocals, especially when he sings live. <laughs> Being educated, mum. Mum. Oh, wait, she's in bed. My bad. Like, this is why I'm actually quite upset that YouTube, I guess, penalizes me for music copyright, like, music. This is where I wish I could be like, guys, let's vibe out together. I don't know, but, yeah. Of course, I can only show the visual. And even when I can't show the visual, I can't show the visual. And this won't be going on my Patreon. Well, maybe if I can. It Maybe the whole thing of this, you know, all the copyright segments, they'll be on my Patreon, hopefully. I may, I may have to separate it into segments, like part one, part two, part three. If you guys want to actually see, and, of course, if you want to become a Patreon. But also, I'm going to put i'm going to try and figure out a way and i mean this 100 percent. if you become a member down below you will be well hopefully you will be able to eventually see this whole video with the copyrighted content it just means that um not everyone can see it but only if you become a member you will be able to see it and it, it's youtube's way of being like patreon so just think of it like that really my god it's tifa white i'm very jealous 
I have very English teeth. <laughs> uh, they're not. I'm sorry. No, I'm meant to be listening to this. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm appreciating it. Don't you worry. Sounds like a. I was about to say young Elton John man, but sounds nothing alike. They're in completely different <laughs> segments. It's not bad quality. It's a little bit suppressed. It's very Christmassy. Ooh, hello. And music videos. I like it when he's a bit like this. It's, it's a little bit more energetic. It's very much more confident. That's not to say the others weren't confident. It always takes a lot of confidence. Just, it's like, talk your shit. Talk your shit. Talk your shit is a good thing, by the way. So get into it, King. Just gotta know your audience. Oh yeah, I forget he's good at English, yeah. Jiamin is actually really good at English. Thanks for that. Much more than people realize. He is super confident with his speaking abilities and often takes the lead when Chan and Felix are absent. Joke. That's cool. It's a little joke in Korea, but it has all, it also has a meaning that we're looking for the past year. Our team name is Stray Kids. When you take out the R of Stray Kids, that's the reason of the Stray Kids. So we... Cool. Put that out, and we made the word stay to our the official fan name. Beautiful. Yay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At first class, Siemian probably seems like the most calm and collected person of SKZ. However, after getting to know him, he is actually just a wacky and crazy as the rest of them. That's good. All right, those those are my favorite type of the people, uh, type of people in the world. And I think that's why I've become more accustomed to Siemian than the large majority. But then chimed in. Let's see, I don't know what it is. I just I just have days when I prefer one rather than the other. I think that's quite human of me. I think you guys chat out also. I really oh, want to go in a lazy river again. It's been so long. Last last time I went in a lazy river was Santa Parks. And that was ages ago. That was like four years ago. Oh. Oh. Now for some fun facts. Sim in nickname is Puppy. Okay. Oh, isn't that like an offense though? That you, you could say to like, I feel when someone has like golden retriever energy, it's a bit like, you'd say that to someone who is a bit like, a bit like a, no, I, do you know what? Fuck it. I've, I've actually been, been called that. So <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know whether to take it as an offensive thing or, or anything. Wow, really, wow. Oh, what? What's that? What are you kissing? <laughs> Come here! Give me your paw! <laughs> he is a huge fan of the group Day6, also under JYP, and has recently been appearing on the radio show Dakira. Alongside, well, that, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Alongside fellow SKZ member Lino, and the host of the show is Young K, a guitarist and vocalist of Day6. It's so cute to see them interact. I, I need to. Oh, three, two, one. Now I'm two hours into the recording. That's beautiful. I think this is now number six of the camera recording. Yo, We're so close as well. Yo. I've actually been very much enjoying this. Like this is why I'm keeping doing it. Big <laughs> oh, I thought he was doing it like word for word. <laughs> Siomin has also covered a few day six songs. Oh, that's so, that's so, that's actually quite wholesome. That's really cool. Me like, I like, I like, the nice. Congratulations. Nadio is saying congratulations. 
Well, so half of guy how to vacation. In conclusion, Xiao Min is another incredibly talented member of SKZ, who's not only funny and savage, but also adorable, soft, yet mature when he needs to be. Please appreciate him lots. I will. Don't you worry. Don't come in. Don't. If I saw him in a pond, I'd fish him out. What the hell's wrong with me? Sure. Stop. Star. Yes! Yang Jeonjin. This one's IN. I do know him as IN. I keep forgetting that his name is Yang. Yang Jeonjin. And it's a definite it's definitely a culture shock for myself. I maybe it's just arrogance. I don't know. Because I'm not used to Korean names. I I've never known any Korean people. Well, not not that I've known of, of course. That'd be too arrogant of me to say. But you know, I've never come across a lot of nationalities i'll be honest i'm very i'm in a part of england where it's not very diverse so when you see people with well just different names you you kind of like oh pretty cool pretty cool his name's ian 2001 busan macne of the group group roles vocalist sub rapper macne on top sheesh Skr Ian is the youngest member of SKZ, known as both Stays and the other's member as, oh my god, Aggie Bang, which translates to Baby <laughs> Baby Gluten. Glu no, Baby Glutos. Jiyeon Jin is a vocalist within SKZ and has a lovely sounding voice. He's part of the vocal line alongside Seung Min. However, just like his older brother, he, is, he also gets overlooked as talented vocalist. But as SKZ gained popularity and Ian grew older, recognition towards him and his skills have recently increased. Have really increased, sorry. Which is so wonderful to see. Ah, it's the devil. I really like fam. It's like it's very Jason Derulo type. It just sounds like a very swag song. Yeah, he popped off of that. This is one of his solo SKZ records that are uploaded to their YouTube account. Please take a moment to appreciate his beautiful vocals. Haha, <laughs> you can't, but you can. You obviously know because you've obviously seen it. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, I do like that. I might show my nan this. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually gonna show my grandma this because this is like although she has done a K-pop reaction and on this channel and fucking hell people hate it, but you know it is what she is. She's from a different generation. She has she has some strong opinions. Anyway, <laughs> so she likes this type of music. She likes very soulful music. If it is you, if if it is you, I'd love to show this. Although she'd be like, Fred, it's Korean. I can't understand. It. I go, Nan, it's all about the sonic waves in the ear. I probably won't say that to her. Uh, Jung. Young one and then of course i'll i really do like doing longer videos i'll be honest because it's it literally feels like a live stream and it's a lot higher quality <laughs> oh, yeah. yang jion jin uh after recently growing out of his adolescence and becoming a young adult ian released his well-awaited solo track magne on top which he worked on with both bang chan and chan oh yeah okay i need to check that out that, that's a good influence and both feature on the track <laughs> okay okay I need to check that out. Hundred percent. Really, really, really. Okay. Oh, it's this. Oh, I mean, it was all right. It just sounded very Cardi B or Camila Cabello. But you know, that's not to say I didn't enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. I must do the reaction on it. <laughs> to be fair, I do really like that. Ian trained for two years before debuting with SKZ. However, he did face a tough time during the survival show. But the harsh criticism he received only pushed him to improve and better himself as a singer and dancer. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Yes, Yang. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's how passionate I am. Oh, my God. He looks... 10 year old, what the hell? Wow. 
achievement to be honest. His self-improvement is so clear now, and not only with his vocal and dance skills, but also with his stage presence and overall confidence as a performer. It's awesome to see. It's wonderful. It really is. And it proves that if you're not at where you want to be now, who knows? Just keep trying and see where you'll get. Uh, you might improve, you might not. Who knows? <laughs> of course, in this case, he did improve. <laughs> so that's good. That's reassuring. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> the others really really love and cherish John Jin as their youngest with each member showing him love support and guidance in their own unique ways it's so adorable it's true dad <laughs> <laughs> Emotional support. <laughs> get him, get him. Ah. Uh, Incapacitation. De decombobulation. Discombobulation. <laughs> no. But don't let his cuteness fool you. Ayen has amazing stage presence and equally as amazing duality. He can easily switch it up at any time, going from cute to hot at a blink of an eye. All right. Oh. Thankfully, we've got an ace check, so that's good. Blink of an eye. He's all changing. Okay. <laughs> I've got real dad humor, don't I? That sucks. You can blame my dad for that, I'll be honest. Whoa, that was cool. Wait, I want to do that. <laughs> I don't know how he did that. That was like some chef shit. So he's chopping out some goddamn salmon or something. Jo Jin is a huge fan of trot music, a traditional and distinct form of Korean singing. He even featured on a TV reality show to sing his this style, surprising the judges because of how young he was. Influence, baby. <laughs> Not, not to say that, it, you know, it's taken away, like, it, it's good, it's, it's amazing, but it sounds very, what's it called? What is it called? I forgot. Tango. It sounds like, it sounds very tango. Dum, da, 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 dum, dum. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I didn't know that ever existed. T-R-O-T. He, how do you pronounce that, by the way? Is it trot or? <laughs> trot. What am I? Swedish? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, my nose! Ah. Hey, buggers. Just my nose is so red now. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Fred Deer. He is often referred to as a fox. Oh, yeah, baby. Foxybingo.com. More specifically, a phoenix. A fennec? What? Fennec fox. And he is the orange cat emoji. Oh, I know it's a fox. I'm kidding. Is a fox a cat or a dog? Or a giraffe, maybe. I don't know. I'm not discriminating. Emoji on social media. His SK Zoo character is a soft white fennec fox. Oh, is it like um, an arctic fox? Is that what a fennec means? Or? Oh, it's one of that. Oh, I can see that. That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> that's so adorable. Oh, my God. No, I thought it was like an Arctic fox. All right, well, least concern. What? I want one. I want to buy one. Price. <gasps> what? That's cheap as hell. Of course, if you got 25. I mean, I don't have 2,500, but so. That's like a Shiba, isn't it? And cost is not Shiba. But is it a cat or a dog? I don't know. I ain't used to have braces since debut up until January 2019. When he had them removed, he celebrated the occasion with a live stream event to show off his lovely straight teeth. Just wear your retainers, goddammit. I stopped wearing my retainers because I'm a bitch, that's why. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what a guy. <laughs> 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 In conclusion, despite being the adorable magnate, John Jin is an equally talented member of the group and deserves all the praise in the world. Holy shit, that's a big camera. 
my camera ain't that big. <laughs> that, was, that was a joke. It was a joke. Alright, we are, we're like less than a minute in. Oh, left, sorry. He re I really hope you enjoyed getting to know all about the boys of Stray Kids. I have, thank you. I can promise you that there is so, so, so much more to learn about them. And I really hope you consider giving them a chance. You will not regret it. Jeez, I have fucking reacted two hours and 15 minutes. Name another reactor that's done that, alright? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and to my fellow stays, I really hope my guide has done the boys justice. There is so much content and moments I wanted to include, but let's hope any new fans decide to discover it for themselves. I just want to say thank you to Stray Kids on behalf of all stays for being our daily source of comfort, love, and acceptance. And remember, everyone, Stray Kids everywhere around the world. You made Stray Kids stay, goddammit. Goddammit. See ya. Right, well, of course, I have to shout out T No Sugar. T No Sugar, if you're watching this, I really do appreciate you combining all these clips and, or, you know, spreading knowledge about this, this amazing group. So, also, also I want to commend you on the fact that you made one because I know there's, there's a lot of people that like to put other people into scrutiny about stuff like this. I have recognized it over other compilations that some people have said. Well, I know, I know it's for the uh, justification of the boy group, but of course, you know, some people like to really penalize people if they get something wrong. But I know that spreads misinformation, but hey, of course, if there's no malice behind it, then there's no malice, all right? So again, I really commend you to no for making this compilation. It's really amazing. And for the rest of the people, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far into the video, the secret word, if you're new around here and you don't know what I'm about to do what i like to i like to say a random word just a completely random word and if you put it down in the comments it just lets me know you know because i'm a human also i like to i like to think that my obviously this is my word to you know let me know that you've watched this fun video secret word of the videos is pringle prick um pringle pickle pringle prickle I'll, I'll put it there pringle pickle secret word of the video just let me know how far this is how you fight this is this is how far you got into the video sorry i'm going to now procrastinate for the rest of my life uh because this is oh, i'm not even talking to the mic what's wrong with me i don't know what else to say this is gonna take me so damn long to edit so whenever this comes out i love you guys to absolute moon and back so with that being said i'll see you in the next video love you all and on to the next video peace out everyone bye oh and also become a member today yeah, uh, alright, bye. Bye. bye.